Hello guys, welcome to Let's Play Minecraft episode 2. I am on Morning Blade and uh, today we are going to finish out our house that we started out last time. I'm just out uh, exploring a bit uh, in the swamp that we had right by our place and uh, yeah, just to see what kind of area we got around us, what kind of terrain we have to play with. So this swamp is kind of broken up, it's not the best place, but I found this hole I have behind me. Originally I was thinking about having the, the mine uh, just beside our, our house. You can see it in the background, we're going to check that out later. Uh, there was the kind of uh, yeah a hole uh, right uh, on the other side of the river but I was traveling here and I found this magnificent hole and my mind started thinking that Mike can play around with this and uh, maybe turn it into a awesome mine but that's uh, farther down the line, so just gonna leave it for now and travel back to our main place. You can see the house in the background there. I filled in the, the missing walls and the roof. I was uh, struggling a bit with the roof design, but I ended up with the one you see. I think it looks good but I might play a little more with it to make it a bit more organic so try to rough it up a bit so it's just not a straightforward roof and make some bits and bumps to make it more interesting to look at um, so today we need to put in the last of the details and uh, uh, turn it into a, to a house that we can live in uh, also do the interior uh, right now it's looking a bit on the plain side and uh, it needs more uh, yeah it needs some more details to to catch the eye and uh, yeah so we are going to work on that today fence done and we got a little bit of area here to work with um, try to make the fence look a bit ugly um, it's not a fence that can keep animals in because they can jump over the food box but um, just to make it a little bit more interesting for the eye uh, and I think uh, it's not completely there yet but uh, it's definitely something we can work with and so I think we're gonna do a little bit more details on the house now and just just stay tuned and I'll be back, right back at you
did put a little roof over the front porch and a little stairway up to the door. I think that's look uh, awesome. And I also put a little roof um, on the back side that we can uh, use to store things. Uh, we can put up some barrels and some chests and just use the area to, to, to store. Uh, now I just want to rough up this line here a bit. Um, it's uh, a bit on the plain side. We're going to take the stone and mix up the stone and the wood a bit. So it's just you know, that straight line for the, the base there. So let me do that. What I did was just running around the building and uh, put in some andesite actually uh, to mix up the cobblestone texture. Uh, mixed the andesite uh, in between the cobblestone and also tried to mix up the line. Um, and so it's just a not straightforward uh, basement line. So I think this looks fairly good. I might run around and uh, try and mix it up a bit more, but um, it's looking okay uh, right now. So I think we're going to leave it to that and uh, continue forward. There's actually one more thing we can do to mix up. Um, Mix it up a bit more. Um, that is to to put some depth in the in the textures and, and in the blocks, so it's not that plain. Um, I wanted to put walls and stairs. So I will show that to you now. What you can do is just to put down some stairs. You can put down some uh, some cobblestone walls. That's. Also, a way to to make it look a bit more interesting. Um, just uh, a little trick to, and it's a way to put details in. So, yeah. Okay, uh, we also need to put down some, some materials on the ground and now it's just all just grass uh, but um, we need to put down some path uh, when people are walking here it's going to turn all muddy so uh, we need to, to put down and simulate that there is people walking here and uh, using the area so the, uh, all the green stuff is just not working for for that so we're going to put down some dirt some gravel some coarse dirt to to mess it up a bit and uh, that will do 
a lot to the build. So let me gather the stuff and uh, come back to you. A bit and um, use some coarse dirt to make it look muddy. Uh, and I'll use some gravel um, and some path blocks and actually some planks to make the path. Uh, can you can if you want, of course. Just use the path block like this. Um, personally, I don't. Text the texture is all right, but it's um, a little bit on the plain side, so I don't use it very much. But I try to mix it up uh, in the textures here. Um, I also would like the the gravel uh, texture to be a bit darker uh, to blend a bit more in to not stand out as much. But um, I think this is looking more interesting, interesting uh, texture-wise. Uh, it's more to catch your eye um, than this. So I used to make my roads like this, uh, the path, path at least. Um, I think it look more realistic um, so um, I think many of our path we will try to mix it up a bit but um, when we're starting on the roads um, for our city here um, we will try to use a little bit of this and maybe we throw in some path like this um, but we need to to have a, find a blend that matches our builds. Um, yeah, so I think this look uh, quite good, but there, there is always some tweaks and twists you can do to it. So, uh, probably when I run around and see something that I'm not that comfortable with, uh, you'll probably change it. But, uh, it's a start. All right. Oh, and I will do the same back here, uh, like this pole here, it's uh, in the real world, it will not go down in the grass, let's stand there, and the grass will not grow as good uh, beneath the roof here. So. I'll mix it up a bit. Uh, use the materials we got and uh, this is also a st storage area so uh, it's uh, not be that grassy. Gotta sleep. Last thing I wanted to do, and uh, we're gonna have some light. I think uh, 
these new lanterns are awesome. That's that's something Minecraft have been missing for a long time. So, oh. Okay, let's go to sleep before we have too much fun. Okay. So we have a lot of the outdoor done. And we just want to put the lantern here as well. So, oh, I see a creep. Maybe we can get some gunpowder. Should we try to see if we can get this attention? Okay, here it comes. Oh, two. No damage done. Uh, just gonna fill in this hole. Do we have some regular dirt? Yes, we have. Okay, no harm done. Right, so let's get back to this. Uh, we now have most of the auto done. So now we need to get to the interiors, uh, fill in the floors, and and I know the exact thing we're gonna have there. I think we're gonna have oak logs. Probably need some more. Can keep the lanterns on. So I think I want the floor. It's ripped oak plank uh, logs. It does have has some some texture to it. Uh, gonna need a stairwell up to the second floor. I think we're gonna put that. Oh, let's use this and see how that turns out. That will be okay. All right. Can possibly put one here, I think. Let's try this as well. Can I put a door there and we have a cabinet for some chest or maybe a door outside? That's good. We got like a dining room here and we can have a kitchen right there. So now we've got to figure out the windows. And I think we're gonna have a large try to put a large window here. I don't know how that will look. And probably a window right here. Like that, maybe. We can also do the same down. Maybe we should do it the other way around. Lantern in the way. Ah, it's okay, I think. Could possibly turn this there around. I guess so. And that's also putting some details to the to the facade. There we go, window, and possibly we could have a door out to the, to the storage area inside here. So, and the hair of course is going to be the second floor, maybe put in some roof windows or whatever, um, and I think it's going to be it's a really comfortable house. Yeah, I put in the rest uh, off camera and uh, see you guys in the next episode. Bye!